Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, huh? Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Monkey Island. We're still on chapter one, the launch of the Screaming Narwhal. And in the last episode, oh, what happened again? It was a little while ago since recording. Oh, that's right, we took control of the Screaming Narwhal itself. We thwarted Captain Winslow by um, exploding him with a pair of knickers, pretty much. How about that? Uh, we had a little look around the ship at the end of the episode, but um, I think we need to go back onto the island, really. I know that there was that, that one cannonball which went a bit loose and has probably smashed up poor old glass blower pirate's glass. I can't remember his name. Um, but we now also have the map to... Oh, wrong button. Whoa, that was completely the wrong button. Uh, we have the map to... Deep Gut. Yeah, Deep Gut, who should hopefully be able to tell us how to get off this stinking island. Let's go check out. Oh no! Oh no, what's happened? I was gone completely. We can't even interact with it. What does the sign say now? Alphabet sale. Free vowels while supplies last. Oh, okay, nothing's changed. Oh, he's just buggered off then. Well, okay. Uh, so I don't think much is really going to have changed right now. Although, where is my my first mate, Captain Winslow? I guess his name is just Winslow now. I'm the captain. I am the captain now. Uh, this is where Nipperkin was. Hmm, let's have another look at this. Um... Oh, crap. Oh, no. Ah, cancel. Just put it down. There you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> now I need to get used to these controls again. No, I don't want to do anything with that. There we are. Let's look at it. So we need to walk... Oh, okay. Deadline. Interesting. So maybe this means that we can now go to one of the places we saw on the sort of main island map. So maybe we should have a little run over. Oh wait, it's back. What? That's weird. He's a ghost. I'm back. Hi. So you are. Oh, it's like nothing's ever happened. That's really weird. I'll let you return to your fancy schmancy glass blowing. Hmm. Uh, and I'll let you return to be a The fact that that resets makes me think it's probably going to be a puzzle that we need to... Oh, wow. A bit of paper in our face. Uh, we're going to need to do that again with the cannon and, and make it fire off and smash these. Maybe we should did it at the wrong time. I think that's probably it. These years of playing point and clicks have, uh, have taught me something, believe it or not. Anyway, let's head into the jungle. Well, not quite, because now can we go to... It looks like that. That looks like the map. Hmm. But we can't select it yet. What about if we just go through? Do we have to walk all the way through it? Maybe. He's gone. Oh, I could just get lost in this stupid jungle again, couldn't I? What was the word as well? What was it? Deadline. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is the right thing to do, you know. We found this calendar. But we've already seen this. According to this, it's Sunday, the 12th of Manatee. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> Never mind, we found it. That was easy. We've found a creepy shack with a weather vane and a door. Let's have a look at that weather vane. Well, that's odd. Don't most weather vanes only have four wind directions? I mean, this is Flotsam Island. It's very windy. Anything else around here before we go in? Something about that shack shivers me timbers. No, okay, let's, let's head in. What's the word? Oh, it's dead. <laughs> well, we got to try it. I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Hmm. How did I know that was going to happen? Are these clickable? I noticed these. Oh, are they coconut halves? Like coconut shells? No. All right, let's try that again. What's the word? 
The word is deadline. Deadline. Welcome, Guybrush. The Voodoo Lady! Boy, am I glad to see you! I've got so many questions- There'll be time enough for questions later. But first, hand me the Lachuk Slayer. The what? The Cursed Cutlass of Kaflu. Now that Lichuk has been destroyed, the Cutlass must be ritually dismantled in a soul-chilling voodoo ceremony to ensure that his evil never reawakens. Yeah, about that. Oh, voodoo lady. Isn't she a sight for sore eyes? Oh, it's so comforting to have her back. God knows why she's here, how she got here, is she stuck here? Why does she always seem to follow us? I guess she is a voodoo lady, but that's nice. Different voice though, definitely a different voice. Uh, okay, so that cutlass recipe you gave me was a dud. I followed your recipe to the letter, but Elaine messed it up. I kind of had to ad lib your cutlass. Uh, do we tell her? I guess we're going to tell her either way. But let's just blame the old wife, eh? I tried to destroy LeChuck with the cutlass, but I had to make some last second substitutions and there were some complications. What manner of complications? Well, the cutlass didn't so much annihilate LeChuck as it turned him human. What? I couldn't believe it either. Personally, I think it's a trick. A human Chuck? This is troubling. Can you help me? I'll do as much as the fates allow, but I fear that you will not like what I have to say. Well, it, it's clear that there's, uh, <laughs> there's just as much, uh, much jiggling <laughs> as there was before with Voodoo Lady. Um, but also, can I just point out, it's a little bit annoying. The game's done this quite a few times now, and it, I, I kind of, I don't see the point of it. Like it gives you these different options, and then it doesn't say it. It just says something completely different. Like that's, that's not, that's not funny. I want to hear the line and then the, the response to it. But it just, yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't keep doing that. Uh, anyway, so, what, um, what do we need to do? Can you help me get off Flotsam Island? Can you tell me if Elaine is okay? Oh yeah, and our creepy possessed, diseased. Green hand. Uh, let's worry about Elaine first. Can you tell me if Elaine is okay? Hmm. The view is hazy. Ask again later. Later? But she could be in danger, or dead, or worse. I only know what the spirits reveal, Guybrush Treepwood. And what in the name of Satan's comb over are you good for, you bloated old sea hag? What was that? That was the Parks of Lechak. Uh, who, who, the what now? The Parks of Lechak. When your improperly enchanted cutlass turned Lechak into a human, all the evil voodoo juju within him had to go somewhere. Were you touching him at the time? I was. Does that explain the antisocial behavior and the crude gestures? Yes. Some of Lechak's evil has seeped into your hand. Do you have a cure? No. But I know where you can find one. I feel a piratey quest coming on. To eliminate the parks of Lechuk, you must seek out La Esponja Grande. The big sponge? La Esponja Grande is no ordinary sponge, Treepwood. It is a legendary sea sponge with incredible voodoo exfoliating abilities capable of absorbing limitless quantities of voodoo mojo. Where can I find it? I have never seen it myself, but a former friend of mine, Coronado de Cava, spent many years searching for it. I last saw him in the Jerkbait Islands. Take this locket to him and tell him I vouch for your character. I'll get right on it after I find Elaine. That would be unwise, Guybrush. The Pox of Lechuk must be eliminated before it spreads. Whatever. Wow, that was a big old information dump, wasn't it? But hey, I guess we're kind of like Harry Potter. It's like we're a horcrux of Lechuk, and some of Lechuk is inside us. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> 
there are some great bits in that that I've just forgot. What was it? Voodoo Juju. Oh, I need to get rid of this Voodoo Juju. Uh, can you help me get off the island? Can you tell me where the chuck is? How do I stave off the pox? Anything else about this pox? Or about... What was it? La, la Esponja, Esponja Grande, which I thought was a coffee, but I guess not. Assuming that I do go looking for La Esponja Grande after I get off this island, what else can you tell me about it? It's a giant magical sea sponge capable of absorbing immense voodoo energies. If there's anything that can mop up all of LeChuck's evil mojo, it's the sponge. Alright, well that just sounds perfect, doesn't it? Uh, but lots of questions. Can you help me get off Flotsam Island? I've got a ship, but it won't do me any good with these crazy winds. I'm afraid the winds of Flotsam are controlled by forces beyond my control, Guybrush. Perhaps someone in town can help you. That's no use. Are you sure you can't help me get off Flotsam Island? As I said, the mysteries of Flotsam are above my pay grade. Seek out others to assist you. Mm, above my pay grade. Uh, I feel your sister. <laughs> okay, well then where is LeChuck? If you can't tell me about Elaine, can you at least tell me where LeChuck is? Without a mark of the voodoo on him, LeChuck's whereabouts are a mystery to me. Well, aren't you just useless? Okay, not useless, but... Actually, you're pretty good, alright? I'm sorry, I I'm sorry I said that. Do you have anything to stave off the pox of LeChuck? This hand is really starting to annoy me. The only way to safely deal with the parks is La Esponja Grande. What else can you tell me about the parks of LeChuck? It's a creeping cloud of unstoppable evil, spreading LeChuck's accumulated vileness like a disease across the seas. Ugh. Even now, I can sense the parks wending its way to this very island. I wonder if that means that LeChuck is getting some of our our charm and uh, uh, likability, you know. Is he getting the traits of Guybrush in return? Perhaps? I guess we'll find out when we see him. Uh, I think that's probably about it apart from... Oh wait, we can find out her name? Really? After, after four games, can we finally do it? You know, you've been helping me out for years and I still don't know your name. Names have power, Guybrush Treepwood. Only a fool willingly gives it away. Does my name have power? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> oh. Oh, I think she's lying. Right, last question then, I guess. Oh, no, we've got another one, but what about this locket? Who do we need to give it to? Tell me more about this locket. It was given to me by my friend, Coronado de Cava. Why do you keep putting dramatic pauses around friend? Was Coronado... Yes. He was my boyfriend. Icky. We met in the Jerkbait Islands many years ago. I fell in love with his treasure hunting mind and his beautiful eyes. He fell in love with my voodoo charms and my supple. La 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 la, not listening! Like a volcano! <laughs> <laughs> but after several months of ocean steaming passion, our love cooled after he became obsessed with the myth of La Esponja Grande. When we parted, he gave me that locket. Sad and disquietingly graphic. Oh, I don't think that's icky. I think it's nice that Voodoo Lady had love when she was younger and there was volcanic eruptions in bed. Good for, good for her, good for them. Can anyone lip read what, we, what she was saying? Um, <laughs> that was really funny. Okay, uh, last question then, how did she end up here? Well, how'd you end up on Flotsam Island? I go where I am needed. Oh, so she's Deep Gut. That does make sense. So you're Deep Gut? Davy Nipperkin's source of off-island news? Yes. Why? The price of a voodoo lifestyle is not merely spiritual, little pirate. It also requires a substantial financial commitment. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that is going to be it then. Let's just double check. Yeah. Yep. Well, 
See ya. Well, this has been disturbing, but I've got an island to escape, a wife to find, and apparently a giant voodoo-sucking sponge to hunt. May the fates guide you, Guybrush Treepwood. Oh, that was lovely. I should have expected this to be in the game somewhere. We, we always have our little, uh, a little catch-up with Voodoo Lady, don't we? Just as lovely a, a house as usual, full of well, <laughs> a deep freezer. Wait a minute. Frozen chicken gizzard, frozen newt eyes, snake venom popsicles. Oh my god, chicken gizzards. I had the unfortunate... Um, uh, an unfortunate encounter with one of them not too long ago, and they were disgusting. Um, what is in the closet? I wonder what's in... Don't touch that! It's where I keep my... unmentionables. <laughs> Hmm, okay. Maybe, maybe, oh, maybe those big pink pants near the boat were hers. Maybe not. Yummy. <clears throat> it's locked. Yes, and it will remain locked until it's ready to reveal its secrets many moons from now. <laughs> Wait, this is... <laughs> everything's changing. This is now the scariest closet in the world. That's a bit... that's a bit mean. Just because it has her little pantaloons, or quite big pantaloons. Uh, and this is now the chest of foreshadowing. Hmm. Uh, oh, wait a minute. What's, uh, what's this voodoo shrine all about? Is that a little monkey? What's this? That is a shrine to Noa Treblig, keeper of the crossroads. Oh, hang on. What is Nortra? What is that backwards? Gi Gilbert. Gilbert Nor. Oh, uh, no. Gilbert Ron. Oh, Ron Gilbert. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it had to be something, didn't it? Um, is that what it looks like? Hmm. That's a nice rug they have on the floor. Spiffy rug. Is that some sort of voodoo four square court? That is the symbol of the crossroads. The intersection between this world and the world of the spirits. All those who practice the voodoo must make offerings to the crossroads to draw magic into the world of the living. Really? Because I've never seen LeChuck offer up anything to anyone. That is because LeChuck is a selfish abomination, hoarding voodoo power for personal gain without concern for the natural order of things. Now that he's human, his leftover plundered mojo is oozing around like a disease, clogging the crossroads with its putrescence. Like a toilet. Sure, why not? Well, who, who knew there was so much depth to, to the spiritual crossroads? An oozing mojo. Mm. Anything else? Oh, some hand lotion. <laughs> what's, what's going on here? International House of Mojo brand hand lotion. Good for removing warts, curses, hexes, and unsightly buboes. Warning, not for use against poxes, especially the pox of LeChuck. Rats. Oh, wouldn't that have been so much easier? I guess, I guess not. Parrot skeleton. I did wonder why it wasn't moving. It's just, it's just a skeleton. Is it going to be some Monty Python joke, maybe? Knock, knock. Guybrush, don't. Who's there? No. It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Brrrr, it's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. You fool. What? I've spent months crafting a pyrite parrot of Petaluma and you've ruined it before it was finished. Now I'll have to start all over. Sorry. Oh, okay, I, I thought there might be a dead parrot reference, but uh, I guess it wasn't dead. Can we pick it up, though? Hey, if you're done with this, can I have it? Fine. It's of no use to me now. Who's the studliest pirate in the whole wide world? Barack! It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Whitey Pirate. Heh! <laughs> uh, I bet we're going to have to use that to, to mimic or, yeah, trick someone thinking it's us, aren't we? You wait. You wait just a bit. Is that the thing from Harry Potter where you look, you, you dunk your face in? No. 
Uh, maybe not. Voodoo ingredients. Can't you use all the magical gunk in these bottles to cure my hand? The pox of Lechuk can only be cured with La Esponja Grande. Yeah, 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 La Esponja Grande. I've heard it, alright. What's this? I recently found this contraption in a swamp. I have yet to plumb its mysteries. Oh. Can we not... Oh, wait a minute. Diorama? Do we have to actually control this? Oh, no, that was in the foreground. That really <laughs> puts the die in diorama. All right, never mind. So, wait. Can, let me go back to this for a second. No, something... We need to probably know a code for that, and then something will come out of there, it looks like. I'm going to... I'm going to guess. Okay, I think that's pretty much the whole International House of Mojo explored. Oh, not quite though. There's an interesting bottle left. What's this? Ah, the spirits have guided you well. That is a bottle containing an ancient scroll left behind by the Vecalians, the former inhabitants of Flatsam Island. Ancient scroll, huh? Do you think it can tell me anything about these messed up winds? Perhaps. But first, you'll have to figure out how to break the unbreakable bottle I've sealed it in. Unbreakable bottle? Why would you do that? Some secrets are too dangerous to fall into mortal hands, Threepwood. Anything else you want to tell me about this scroll in the bottle? I purchased a scroll from a bitter old pirate named Magee. Make of that what you will. <laughs> Magee. Uh, my, nickname, uh, my nickname at work is uh, Snacky McGee because I like to snack a lot. So I feel a connection with the, the word McGee. That's nice. Uh, just thinking about it. So we have an unbreakable bottle and an unbreakable tube, right? Isn't that what the YouTube was? They're going to go together, aren't they? And what's that other thing on this cabinet? A skull candle. Murray? <laughs> oh, oh, I wonder if Murray will be back. I miss Murray. Alright, well I think that is it now then. Definitely don't want to take her her underwear. No, no we don't. No, no that's fine. Alright then, well, um, bye voodoo lady. Oh, the weather vane fell off. Hmm. Guess this thing fell off the roof when I had my little LeChuck episode. I should get shouty more often. Hmm. Looks like the wind gods of Flotsam are pointing that way. Oh great, another tool to use and not understand and probably get wrong. Ugh, ancient weather vane. Great. Okay, well that was very useful. That was that was a, a big info dump, but that was that was funny and I, I think we've got some good good things to follow now. Lots of things to go explore and try and use all these items along the way. Um but yeah, looking at the time, that is probably gonna do it for this episode. Until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!